All right. So now we've made our page. Now we need to make the answer key. So we need to do file new again. And for this one, if our picture is going um, landscape or portrait, we want to do that same thing. So my picture is going landscape. So I'm going to do landscape and then I'm going to hit create. And I'm going to click drag down and I'm just going to take one of these layers and drag it over to drag the picture, move it down, do command T, hold the shift, only pull from the corner and just make it fit onto the screen. And then hit return to accept that. Then what I need to do is I need to go to my image. I need to go to mode and I need to change it to grayscale. It's going to ask if we want to flatten it. We're going to say don't flatten and then we'll hit OK. Then it makes our image black and white. Now we're going to change it back image mode and we're going to change it to RGB. Don't flatten. And we're going to come over here and we are going to change our color to red and hit OK. doesn't matter what color red. And then we're going to go to our paintbrush tool. Um, and then your size, you can use your bracket keys to make it bigger or smaller. OK. Um, and let's say I'm going to make it a little smaller here. Let's say I want to take the tip of the tree off. So I'm going to circle that. This is going to be my answer key. And I'm going to come back to my pictures and one of them is going to stay the same and then one of them I'm going to edit on. So I'm going to edit on the top one. So I'm going to zoom in right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamp tool and holding the alt clicking and it's not working because I'm not on the right layer. So I have to double check, make sure I'm on the right layer, hold the alt and then I can start to take the tip of the tree away. So that's one thing that I've done. So now one of the th new things, something new I wanna show you is how to change colors of stuff. Cause if you've noticed, if you looked at some of the books, a lot of them just change the color of something. So let's say I want to color, change the color of the tip of the feather. I need to use my selection tools. Okay, I'm gonna use the magnetic lasso one for this one. <coughs> Bless you. And I might just go in with the regular lasso, make sure I'm on the plus because I want to add to it. And I'm just going to like loop and make this a little, a little better here. And let's say I want a nice fall color, so maybe I'll do like an orange. So I click on my square of my color. I can click anywhere and choose any color I want. Or if I can take the little arrows over here and uh, move them up, and I can click and get into the blues or reds, or if I want to be in the oranges over here. I'm going to choose this orange. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to then take my paintbrush. I am going to make my brush a little smaller, and then I'm going to color it. Now, it's not going anywhere but on that blue that I wanted to cover up because I had it selected. I can also then, if I, it looks a little funny, I can maybe take the opacity down a little bit. Let's do the whole thing. Okay, so now I made that change. I need to go to my black and white over here. Which one was it? The top one. So I go to the top one, go back to red. And you can do this at the end if you want. I just like to sometimes do it as I'm, as I'm going along. And then circle that. And you need to do 10 differences from your pictures. 